Today I'm going to show you various methods of how you can easily finish your 3D prints. Obviously you can paint your 3D prints, but in this video I'm going to show you how you can finish them without painting them by mainly using effect paints. We are going to be starting with the probably the easiest way to finish a 3D print, which is just apply a metal paint to it. So this 3D print I basically just finished by using a metal spray paint, a gold metal spray paint. The issue is when you do this, it usually looks a bit flat. That is because the crevices and all the little details, they have the same sheen than the rest of the print. But there's a way you can make it look more three-dimensional by applying a special paint to the entire print and then wiping the excess away. And this way the paint will stick to the details, to the recesses of the model, making it pop a bit more. Usually what I use for achieving this effect is speed paint. This is speed paint by the army painter and this is basically a paint that is used for miniature painting. But you can also use it for various other things, including adding details to your 3D print. This paint is very thin so you can apply it quite generously it will go into all the little nook and crannies of your model of your 3d print and then you can just wipe the excess away and it will stick to the recesses and once it dries it will naturally add a depth to all the little details of your model so this is a very simple way of making a model look metal you can use the same method by applying, for example, a silver spray or a bronze spray or whatever you want. So this isn't limited to gold. You can use pretty much any finish you want on this. And then you can add some dirt or grime or just add some details with a speed paint that has a similar color. Next up, we are going to take a look at these skulls. I applied a effect paint to both of these. They basically use the same method, but I switched it up a bit between them to make one look like shiny marmor almost. And the other one has like a matte marmor effect. And the effect paint I used is this marmor look. And basically all it does, it has a special nozzle that basically applies the paint in thin strings like this which will add the marmor effect. You can also see it on the cap of the paint. With this first skull, I basically just applied the effect paint directly to the 3D print. So no primer, no nothing. This is basically the color of the plastic. And then I just applied it generously. And this achieved a sort of marmor effect. And also a nice side effect is that it hides most of the layer lines because the paint that comes out of the marmor effect spray can is very thick. So it covers the layer lines and hides them a little bit. You can still see the layer lines on top but most of the other layer lines are very well hidden. So once I had this, I knew you could push the marmor effect much further than this by first painting the entire skull black. So I used a matte black paint spray for this. I just covered the entire skull with it. And then I applied the effect spray. And this achieved a very nice marmor effect. But after doing that, the entire thing was kind of matte and didn't quite look like marmor. So what I did is I applied a thin coat of high gloss varnish. And this basically added a sheen to the entire skull, making it look more like marmor. Finally, the last effect I'm going to show you today is probably one of my favorite effects. I used it to make this prop. And basically the first thing you do for this effect is you use a base coat. Um, you can use any color you want. In this case, I used a silver spray and the silver spray gave the entire prop a silver sheen effect like bare metal. The next thing I did is I added a layer of hairspray. Just regular hairspray you can get pretty much anywhere and you apply a generous amount of the hairspray to the entire model or the areas where you want the chip effect to be. Depends. I applied it to the entire model because I didn't quite know where I wanted the chip effect to be quite yet. Then the final thing you do is you apply another coat, a final coat, a top coat to the entire thing. I um, chose a matte black but you can use any color you want. You could even use another metal color, it doesn't really matter. What happens is the hairspray will basically create a layer between the bottom coat and the top coat. In this case, between the silver paint and the black paint. 
And now what you can do is you can use a wire brush or you can use some sandpaper to remove the black top coat. And this will basically add a chipped damage effect because the top coat will be gone. The bottom coat, in my case the silver, will shine through. And this will give the whole prop these chip paint effects. And you can use any sort of bottom coat or top coat. You can use gold, you could use just black at the bottom, and then you can use a silver top coat and then you can stretch it away. But in my experience, a silver base coat and a nicely contrasting top coat will give you the best results. If you're wondering how I did the lettering on this, I basically used a plotter to cut some letters out of vinyl foil. Then I applied the vinyl here and then I just painted this with acrylic paint. Now the issue you're going to have is when you just apply the acrylic, it will come off, it will chip off because you didn't prime the surface for acrylics first. So you can protect your paint by simply applying a thin coat of acrylic sealer to the entire thing. And this will also protect the top coat from chipping off further. There are so many ways you can use effect paints to finish your 3D prints. For example, you can use something like this. This is granite style effect paint to effectively turn your 3D prints into granite figures. You can also use effect paint like this. This is a base coat, which is basically gold. And then this is a top coat, which is black. And if you apply this top coat, it starts to crack. So it will add this crack effect to the entire thing, which can also be a really nice way to finish your 3D prints. Alternatively, another way to finish your 3D prints is to just paint it like this pineapple here. Here I basically just applied a base coat and then I painted the entire thing with acrylic paint. You need a base coat or a primer for acrylic paint to stick to plastic. So you definitely have to apply a primer before you can apply any acrylic paint to plastic. But once you did, the paint will adhere really well to it. And you can also use an airbrush, for example, to get these nice little transitions from red to yellow, for example. So there are really a ton of ways to finish your 3D prints. Yeah, and there you go. Those are three methods that you can use to finish your 3D prints very easily.